today's adventure, I want to bring to you some historical sites here in Dearborn County, Indiana. That's southeastern Indiana. So, you know what? Let's just have some fun and go around and I'm going to point out some historical sites and tell you what I know about the history of these historical sites. It should be fun! Can't really find much history on this, but there's an old cannon and an old wagon. I've got this before on my videos, and I don't rightfully remember the history of it. I don't want to say what I think it is, because I don't want to dicker it over, you know? I want to say that's maybe from the Civil War, and the wagon be from any time, but kind of cool, isn't it? On to the next. Peggy, the flying red horse. This particular flying red horse used to be in a lot of parades. Lots of them. But anymore, it's encased, enclosed inside this uh, building, <laughs> glass building. But yeah, this used to go around in the parades. Now, I got a story about something like the window here, I don't know, remember, I think it was this one. I got a story for that, but I'll tell you when I get done with this. But yeah, Peggy the Flying Red Horse. Yeah, it's not used anymore in the parades, but wow. Many years ago in the 70s, I used to live in this town. And me and another friend of mine was playing ball, and somehow we cracked one of them windows. So my mother and my father had to pay for a brand new window, and that might be the window today to be replaced yeah i got my butt whipped for that one okay on to the next and javon cabin guys this is beautiful if you want to know a little bit about the cabin go ahead and freeze the video right here this tells all about it let's walk all the way around it and let's get a better shot of it now this is kind of cool i would imagine back in the day that's what they would use to Put the flowers in. Ah, oh, look at the windows. Could you imagine living in something like this today? That would be absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh. Holy. It is quite beautiful, isn't it? Oh, wow. Now this was moved here back, oh, I'm guessing, oh, some years back. And I've got this on video before, but holy, it never, it never ceases to amaze me how beautiful this is to get right up close to it. Let's go around on the other side and walk up on the porch. Want to? And I'd like to tell you this brick wall, I do believe there's some significance to this. If I'm not mistaken, all these rocks, all these limestone rocks was pulled from somewhere else. I do not have the history on that, so don't take my word for it. All right, let's go up the steps onto the porch. Here we go. This tells a little bit more about it right here if you want to freeze the video. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Not exactly sure what this is. I want to say maybe butter mill? No, it ain't what they made butter with. Huh. Not exactly sure what this is. If you guys know, leave it down in the comments. But wow, look at this. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. I would love to go inside of this one day. I'm sure they give tours in the summertime. So if they do give a tour in the summertime, I will come back and get the tour. And then I will actually get more history on it. But today I'm gonna to tell what history I know some of the places I do know the history, and some I don't. Some are going to have to wing it, okay? Hey, I'm an amateur, but I do love history. On to the next. Here is another historical landmark right here. This is in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, Dearborn County. Let's go over here and see if we can get some info on it. Well, right over there is the sign that tells a little bit more about it, but I don't want to walk on the grass. But this place was built in 1818. If I'm not mistaken, it may be one of the oldest homes here in Lawrenceburg. 
Now, believe it or not, I actually had a tour through this house back some years ago. I wasn't allowed to get video footage inside, but I was given a tour. Let's go around on the back side. I want to tell some history, more history on these places. And that was the start of what I wanted to do when I decided to make this particular video. For some weird reason, my mind just goes blank. Ah, then I, like, I was telling Angie, I was like, this video is for poo, you know? But then again, is it really? I mean, well, at least we'll get a look at them. And I am telling a little bit of history. I do know some histories of places we're going, but places like this, my mind just goes blank. But look at this, this is beautiful. Now, I was telling Ange, I was telling her, I believe this is supposed to be the front of the building. And the side we was at was supposed to be the back. I could be mistaken. But yeah, look at this. This is so beautiful. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is one of the first residents here in Lawrenceburg. You know what? Let's see if we can dig up some type of info on this. This house was built in 1818 by Samuel Vance. He had a secret closet under the stairs, reportedly. That's where he used to hide his loot, his money. And the part I showed first is actually the back of the house. I was correct on that. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, we have ourselves an old post office. Post office was built in 1934. It's not active right now. They use this place for, I'm not exactly sure. But let's see if we get some info on it. It's about as much info I could get on this, but wow. Isn't this beautiful? Now, I think I can remember when this was still being used as a post office. Yeah, I believe I remember that. Now, I'm gonna show an old firehouse, but I'm gonna have to do it quickly because Right now, this is a very busy area because the old firehouse is now a restaurant. And I do remember when it was being used. But let's get some history on it and let's show you this old firehouse, which is totally beautiful. Okay, sorry guys, I couldn't really find the date on this. My cell phone's not exactly being um, workable today. <laughs> but let's get the old firehouse. Well, before we get the front of it, look at this. These barrels, these barrels are in 3D. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, that is so cool. Can you see how they're in 3D? It's like you can almost go up and touch it and think it's a barrel and you wouldn't know it's a painting. This is the front of the firehouse. Isn't it beautiful? Like I said, they redid this and made it into a restaurant. I'm in a downtown part of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. And this is a very happening place. This restaurant is getting a lot of foot traffic. So I've never eaten there. Maybe one day I may try it, but I did the best I could with that one, guys. All right, on to the next. The fire station was built in the 1800s something. That's about all I could find out. But guys, right now we're at the Triple Whipple Bridge. I've done lots of videos here. The Triple Whipple Bridge. Believe it or not, this was the only way you was able to get over across the creek, which is Lothry Creek. Today, it's a historical landmark, and it's only for foot traffic only. I've done lots of videos from this point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the bridge, but I'm going to make a part two to this. Don't quote me on it. But I need to do it this spring or summer. And I don't like the way this video came out, to be honest with you. When I was rehearsing this out in my head a couple days ago, I should have done my homework and did it justice. But for some reason, I don't know. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? This bridge was built in 1878 by the Rot Iron Bridge Company. I believe I may have that right, but wow. We're not gonna walk all the way down on it, but you can tell the water's up here, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. The only thing I can think about when I see this is I wanna go fishing, just saying. I wanted to do a hike today, but everything's all muddy because we've had nothing but rain, sleet, 
ice, you name it. Mother Nature threw a mixed bag at us. So all the trails are going to be nasty. So, and plus, this is, this is not a weekend for me. It's a weekday. So I have just a small a little bit of time to present something. Because this weekend we work. But guys, <laughs> I will do this justice again. And I will go other parts in Dearborn County and get the other things I did not get today. Because Dearborn County is loaded and rich in history. And they have lots and lots of places to get. And this summer, we will just do a lot of walking to most of them. Right now, we're driving to all these because it's cold. And that's kind of funny me saying that because I walk in freezing temperatures. But I do have Angie with me and... And you don't like the freezing cold. You can't blame her. Although she's been hiking in the freezing cold with me. But guys, expect part two sometime this summer. And we will have a heck of a lot more on here. And hopefully my next video will be a really cool adventure. I got something lined up. I'm not going to say anything in case it falls through. But we will see you on the next adventure. This has been some historical landmarks of Dearborn County. Come on, let's get out of here.